when, where and how. Learn the time of kingdoms emerged in India, which part they covered and how they entered India and ruled. The vast subcontinent of India was known in the past as Bharatvarsha, the land of Bharatas, bordered in the north by the Himalayas and by the oceans in the south. Now we shall study medieval India and learn about the events that enrich our culture further. The time frame of the medieval period is taken as 700 to 1750. This period is further subdivided into two parts. 1. Early medieval period that is AD 700 to 1200. 2. Late medieval period AD 1200 to 1750. The medieval period is strongly associated with Islamic influence and rule in India. This period witnessed the rise and fall of many dynasties such as Palas, Pratiharas, Rashtrakutas, Cholas, Rajputs, Turks, Afghans and finally Mughals. Major Developments Medieval India came to be ruled by people of indigenous and foreign origin. The Rajput kingdoms were among the first kingdoms that came to prominence in the early medieval period. The period following the death of Harsha came to be known as the Rajput period. This was an era of chivalry, federalism and warfare. The Rajputs weakened each other by constant fighting and this, this allowed people of foreign origin, Turks, to embark on their victories campaign against the Rajputs. The defeat of Rajput King Prithviraj Chauhan at the hands of Muhammad Ghori brought India under the rule of the slave dynasty. After the fall of the slave dynasty, the Khiljis, Tughlaqs, Saidis and Lodis came to power. As the Lodis came to power, the combined period of region of these five dynasties is often referred to as the Delhi Sultanate. Babur, originally from Central Asia, explained the last Lodi ruler from Delhi. Founder of the Mughal Empire in India was Babur. This was a brief interruption to Mughal rule when Babur's son Homerun was ousted from Delhi by Sher Shah on Afghan chieftain. Akbar Babur's grandson consolidated political power and extended his empire over whole of North India and parts of South. He believed that he should seek support from the local ruling group. Sources of Information Archeo, Logical and Literary Sources are the source of information. Archaeology focuses on the study of physical remains and the methods used in recovering them and include buildings, inscriptions, paintings and coins. Literary evidences are written records that the narrate the story of the life and culture of a particular period are literary evidences. They would include chronicles, edicts, declarations, prose, poetry, etc. Archaeological source Inscriptions can be defined as the wordings inscribed on a coin, pillar, medal, monument or seal. Inscriptions help us in discovering and reconstructing the history and culture of a particular period. The inscription reveals the ideologies and idiosyncrasies prevailing in a particular age. For instance, several Tamil inscriptions of the medieval era has revealed the existence of a social formation that was opposed to the hierarchical caste system based on Brahminical ideology. Buildings Buildings and monuments including temples, forts, tombs and mosques also provide a lot of information about architecture and reveal the cultural history of the period. 
the Jain temples at Mount Abu, the Brihadeswara temple of Tinjor, the beautiful temples at Kajraho, the palace of Amber, the Jodhpur fort, Taj Mahal, Red Fort and Jama Masjid are among the best examples of medieval architecture. Coins Coins are a reflection of history. Coins contain authentic information about the names and dates of different rulers. They also highlight the economic conditions of the period. Paintings Indian paintings provides an aesthetic range that extends from the early civilization to the present day. In the medieval period, we come across mural paintings and somewhat later miniature paintings.